Mmm. I want a red one. I know, it's hard to pick. I'm just, I'm gonna Nobody play. wants a red one. I'm gonna play it safe and get. Ah! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> no! I gotta do this one. Can you, you hear it? Can you play music? Oh, it's the same thing. You can just take it and put it. Did you break my glasses? This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even touch them. The light is blinking. Yeah. It's just, it's just activated. Be meta. When was the Battle of Hastings? Yeah, so when I'm doing my painting, uh -huh. you can just do that. Just yeah. Right yeah, so. That's but. so cool. <laughs> I don't know how far I'm away. I don't know. I'm just kidding. Now, you can. I'm going to get a little thing. So people will be like, you're recording me. Yeah. <laughs> so that's funny. Okay. Yeah. So have a oh, thank you so much. Uh, out we go. Let's see. Wall of books. <laughs> oh, ooh, yeah. Uh, there's a reason why they're free. Yep. But every now and then you'll find something really cool. Ooh, ooh, but. Pretty good. Ooh. That might be good to look at. Yeah. So. Cool. But yeah, look at all these oh. vinyls and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody, how are you doing? Well, I've tried to make this video I think four times now and each time I, I look at it on my editing screen and I'm just like, man, I really sound kind of out of it. And then I realized, well, I kind of have been. You see, um, this is the tail end of winter for us here in northern Colorado. We can get snow all the way until June some years. And uh, I just kind of lost my motivation for, you know, doing my art, doing my writing, doing house stuff, and editing and filming. It was just a bit too much. And I, I should have been honest with myself and with you guys 
and uh, just said, you know, I'm making a clean break, take a couple months off. But I kept telling myself, no, no, it's just this week. Next week, I'll go ahead and make another video. And it just never happened. And, uh, and then it didn't help that after a major milestone birthday, um, I started hearing more and more about how artificial intelligence is going to pretty much take over any creative endeavor that anyone tries to do, whether it's, um, you know, art or YouTubing, you know, I mean, it's, it's really going to be pervasive, perhaps. And as much as I love technology, this was the first time I really saw something that could be a huge game changer, even perhaps more than the internet. It's a feeling, I guess, Artists must have gotten akin to the time photography first came out and was replacing portrait painters, you know, as a, a livelihood. And as I was, you know, posting my little vlog videos online to YouTube, I've been seeing more and more and more YouTube channels that are almost completely run by AI, whether, you know, from the script to the voice, to the music, to the art. But then in the back of my mind, I'm like, well, what if what I'm doing isn't really worth watching? You know, I'm kind of a throwback doing things, you know, by hand. So I kind of freaked out. I was having an existential crisis, I guess. But that's no excuse. I really, I really should just learn to push through when I get those moments of doubt and say, you know what? You know, the world's changing, technology's changing, but I still love making stuff. I still love creating and there's still people who like to watch real people make things. And uh, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. And now that the weather is slowly changing and getting warm again, I'm feeling those creative juices going. And uh, yeah, I think it's about time to come out of my hibernation again. And hopefully I'll get this put together and actually post it this week. <laughs> it also doesn't help that I've been in really bad shape again after that last illness, I just, became a blob and didn't feel like moving again and it's hard especially once your metabolism slows down to be like you know getting up first thing in the morning like I'm gonna work out I'm gonna move around and uh yeah for the first time in my life it's been a real struggle because I used to be one of those young people that I could literally eat anything and my hyper fast metabolism I go nom 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 and it would just burn right off and sometime in my fourth decade, that has come to a screeching halt. I don't think I suffer from uh, SAD, SAD, or Seasonal Affective Disorder, or Seasonal Depression, but I definitely do get the seasonal blahs, and uh, so that didn't help either. But still, it wasn't much of an excuse, and I do want to apologize to those of you who, you know, did reach out and say, hey, are you okay? Um, you know, my everyone who's here in town knows that I was fine, because you see me on a more regular basis. But those of you who are further out, uh, I just want to say I'm sorry. And uh, I do intend to uh, try to post a little bit more regularly, but if I don't, I'll be make sure to let you know so uh, you won't be concerned in the future. Yeah, but things are looking up. I've uh, entered a few more contests and things in galleries. I've got a really big commission coming up that I've, uh, I'm gonna be meeting a client with, so that's really exciting. Let's see, what else has happened? Uh, we've just had, you know, basic house maintenance stuff. We had our plumbing go completely haywire and uh, overflowed into the kitchen. Uh, but uh, my handy husband, he was able to figure it out. Uh, but yeah, that's what happens when you're a, you've had a home for more than two decades. And I am not going to complain because not everyone has a house. So... Once again, thanks so very much. And you have an awesome rest of your week.